is National Geographic Today. Well, let's face it, we are captive inhabitants of the computer age. Just about everything we do is tied to some kind of computer. But one man is cheerfully living in an earlier age, and no computer can do what he does by hand. On a plain sheet of paper, in just lines and dots, what does it take to draw a turtle real enough to snap? Or a wasp real enough to sting? Smudging. We got to smudge. Ronaldo Cooler is a scientific illustrator. I usually do my work in black and white and pen and ink. That's my specialty. You'll find Ronaldo at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. He might be peering into his microscope to see the tiny skull of a shrew and then portraying it perfectly on paper. I do see things that, are the, um, that the most people do not see. They look, but they don't see. Oh, great what needs to be heavily shaded, what needs to be lightly shaded, what is high and what is low. To shade an illustration, Ronaldo makes dots. Who knows how many millions of dots in a process called stippling. Stippling is up and down, up and down, up and down with a pen, making little spots. Our, the lower areas are more heavily stippled, the higher areas are less stippled. And that's the way you get your contours. And the result is more lifelike even than life. I've even been called one of the last of the Victorian scientific illustrators. See, nowadays it's replaced, much of it is replaced by computer illustration, which is neat, but does not have the character of an illustration that would be made by an individual. And he is an individual. Like his technique, Ronaldo himself harks back to an earlier age. His outfit is what a mountain hiker would wear in the 1800s. In addition to being a scientific illustrator of great talent, he has also provided, in my daily life, just a lot of fun because he does see things <laughs> differently and is a person who clearly marches to the beat of a, not just a different drummer but like a whole different band. The scientific illustration is absolutely critical. Dr. Roland Shelley is one of the museum curators. There have been many times that uh, I have had Ronaldo do some illustrations for me uh, and the animal wasn't perfect. The, the, the actual specimen wasn't perfect. It's broken, it's twisted, it's turned, whatever. Um, he, can draw, he can draw it straightened out. Uh, you can't take a picture of it straightened out. Still, in this age of computer images, Ronaldo Cooler has become a rare specimen himself, perhaps the last of his kind. I think I can feel better in an illustration than I can if I were to do it by computer, because at least I have my hand on the tool. With a computer, I just feel there's a computer between the illustration and me, and I sort of feel out of control. But I hope I'm not the last. I hope it will continue. I would like to see other people that follow me enjoy illustration as much as I have. But the question is, will we have any use for it in the future? And that does disturb me. I think that when you do things with hand, you're really doing your work with love. And love is important. In more than 30 years of drawing, Ronaldo Cooler has done literally thousands of illustrations. Tom. What a terrific story.